Well, hello again everyone and welcome to sunny Cambridgeshire. Well, it's that time of the year again. It's MOT time for the motorhome. And uh, I'm going to have a little check round and just see if there's anything that could trip us up. I don't think there's any drastically wrong, but uh, I did notice one of the back lights might have a bulb out. So let's start her up and check that out. Yeah, that, I've got me uh, fog light on, that works. Um, both the indicators are working. And uh, it does look like there's one bulb out there, doesn't it? There should be two bulbs like that side. Uh, I'm not sure what that bulb is. I think it's just two backlight bulbs. Maybe one side light, one's... No, because they're both seeing the same brightness. Don't know what's going on there. Look to be all good on the front there. Actually, I can set the camera up behind the van and you lot can tell me if the brake lights are working. Shout out if you see them come on. Oh, thanks for that. It's uh, always handy to have a little bit of help with these jobs. Well, at least we know that the brake lights work. So it's only that one bulb. So let's take that cover off the light and have a look, see what's going on. Oh, well, the glass does look a bit smoky on that bulb. Filament still looks uh, intact. Can't see the filament's broken, but... Uh, yeah, I guess that bulb's gone. I wonder if I've got a suitable replacement in my little box of spare bulbs. Well, I do have this little chap here. Um, they're both 12 volt, 5 watt bulbs, so I think that should work. Although this one looks like a big dent in it. I don't know why, because it's come uh, straight out of this spares kit. So <laughs> that's a bit weird. Anyway, I'll bung it in there and we'll see what happens. Well, that seems perfect. Let's get the cover back on again. Well, there we go. That's that little problem sorted out. As I say, I'm not expecting anything else to be wrong. Um, might hear a bit of background noise there because the, the ladies just come around to wash the wheelie bins of all things and I uh, popped my head out the back and uh, she jumped out of her skin <laughs> when she was uh, taking the wheelie bins out of the way. Anyway, I digress somewhat. Uh, there were a few advisories on the last MOT as you know, uh, the main one of course was those brakes and uh, we did the brake discs and of course that ended up extending further into the braking system so that was all done and uh, that lower ball joint was also done that was identified. There was uh, an advisory about one of the back wheel bearings having some slight play in it. I was going to get around to that but I've never managed to get around to that. Um, and because we are going to take the van up to Scotland uh, I've asked them to have a look at that when they do the MOT as well. It may just need adjusting or it may need a new bearing. If it needs a new bearing um, I've done wheel bearings before myself. It's always a bit of a game. I don't have a press to uh, pop them out. Uh, I know you can sort of knock them out with various different bits and pieces, tubes the right size and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I, I can't see myself getting round to that in the near future. So I'd like that done before we go up to Scotland, just in case. The other thing I'm gonna do before the MOT is just pop these back seat belts out so they're visible for the tester. Right, hopefully now that's all ready for when I take it to the MOT place on Friday. 
Well, it's Friday morning, kettle's on, time to feed Mr. Ginge and get the van to the garage. Well folks, it's much later in the day and Nikki has picked me up from work and we've gone back to the garage and picked up the van and it is a pass. There were no advisories other than the pre-existing advisory for that slight play in the wheel bearing. Now I had asked them to have a look at that for me uh, but they said the tester said that it was such a slight amount of play that if it was his own vehicle he wouldn't uh, even attempt to adjust it. So uh, yeah, we've taken that on advice and uh, we've brought it home without any adjustment. It's possible I might have a bit of a look at it myself, but uh, yeah, I, I've never regarded it as significant play. There's, there's no noise or anything like that. And I can't really tell even from revolving the wheels by hand that there's any play on it. So I'm relatively happy with that. And I think I'm relatively happy to take the van to Scotland under those conditions so i think we're now free to go and book our holiday uh, to scotland if we like more news on that later perhaps and fingers crossed for this year because we've tried a couple of times to get up there and not made it there are a couple of other things i need to do in the van we had Chaz look at the gas safety aspect and uh, definitely need a new hose and regulator and need to disconnect the gas heater that's that's not really up to par anymore so they need doing but they're not uh, super critical in terms of preventing us go to Scotland I'm sure I can do that uh, before we go so yeah great stuff uh, looking forward to another year of motorhoming in our van well that's all for now if you enjoyed this video please share it with your friends give the like button a press and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more.